This is a conversation about Obama's leadership, pure and simple. This is a major test for whether the rest of the world, particularly bad actors, uh, take him seriously when he says to not do something, Chuck Todd. Yeah. The Washington Post editorial that I've been looking at this morning, their lead editorial says this, it took Vladimir Putin less than a day to trample on President Obama's warning against a Russian military intervention in Ukraine. The U.S. now faces a naked act of armed aggression in the center of Europe by a Russian regime that is signaling its intent to steamroller this U.S. president and his allies. Mr. Obama must demonstrate that can't be done. And he said, don't do it for 10 days. And this, but is, it the, was and this done. is not the first time with Putin. Putin acts, Obama warns. Putin acts, Obama warns. Putin, I mean, this is a, a pattern that he can't afford to stay in here and just continue to warn. You heard John Kerry, more warnings. I've talked to some folks. There are some, there are some moves they could make and could make right now. They're not active war moves. They are immediate economic sanctions. Russia's largest banks are state-owned banks. You could choke them economically in a hurry. You've got the largest energy company in Russia is a close pal of Putin. There are things they could do. The idea of kicking out of the G, just do it. Mm -hmm. Just suspend it, move, start the meeting. <laughs> That was the sense that you're, you're wondering, why isn't the president out there saying, OK, we have made these moves. He's done this. You know, it was before it was trying to play some diplomacy, but they've got this 24 and you hear John Kerry with more warnings. I think that they know that he's got to act no more just issuing very right. harshly worded statements. But Tina Brown, look, 